Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Amin here and today I'm doing a very exciting video that also is making me very nervous. Today I'm going to be trying on some outfits that my boyfriend picked for me. I have no clue what these outfits are and if you don't know him, which probably a lot of you don't, he does not have a very good fashion sense but he has like followed me on my Instagram where I share a lot of fashion stuff so I'm hoping he picked up a few things to say the least but I have to say I do not trust him um, which is maybe a harsh thing to say so to give you a bit of organization I gave him three outfits for me to choose or three themes the first theme is something I can wear to work and at work we wear like business casual clothing and then the second thing I said was something that I can wear at home like lounging around and the third thing I said was something I would wear like on a date night like if we were going out to a nice restaurant so those are the three themes that I told him to pick outfits for everything that he got was from H&M which was based on my recommendation just because I know H&M has a lot of variety and so even then he was like I'm struggling I don't know how to use this website because he just doesn't like shopping doesn't shop for himself doesn't shop for anybody else um, but he did manage to pick up all three outfits from H&M I have not opened them I have no idea what it's going to be like but I did just organize them in, in their packages so they're all still packaged as you can see I organized them based on what he told me each item was for um, and right off the bat I can tell that he's already done a good thing so far by picking colors that I would actually wear as you can tell I'm a very neutral person I don't really like wearing bright colors or things that you know are too flashy and so he picked two outfits that were completely all black and then one that is brown and white which is so up my alley so I'm excited about that let's get into the first outfit let's do the work one first this is the first outfit this is for work I told him to get all my sizes in size large or size 12 um, which is what I normally wear so this is the work outfit I could see the description of the items and I said flared leggings so I was really concerned but these are really cute like this is really trendy I'm kind of impressed let's see if they fit and then the top for this is like a interesting a sleeveless I think it's called like a poplin shirt um, it's quite large so I guess it's supposed to be oversized but I think it would be easy to style of course I'm not gonna iron or steam anything so it's gonna be quite wrinkly but let's try on this first outfit this is the first outfit on I don't think I would wear this shirt just out like this so I'd probably tuck it in a little bit let's see I wonder if he's gonna watch this video but I'm actually kind of impressed with like the color combination of this um, outfit I, the pants are a little bit too long as you can see which is totally like on me i'm pretty sure i'm 5'2 five, 5'3 five, the only thing is i don't think i would be wearing it now to work just because number one it's winter it's snowing outside and like the shirt is pretty thin and the pants i think i could get away with wearing and then the second thing is just because of my insecurities is that i feel like since these pants are kind of legging material that you can see all of like the imperfections of my body which is like a stupid thing to say out loud but like you could see all of like the dips and all of these little bumps and I don't know if you know I could be comfortable with that I, I hope one day I can I just don't know but I totally would wear this again like either together or even separately I'm also going on vacation in a month and so I think this shirt would be really good for you know like a beach cover-up um, because it's quite light and like see-through um, so I think that would be good if I tied it up like this oh yeah oh yeah what the heck if I tied it up like this obviously it's no longer a work outfit but like I look pretty cool I look pretty cool I like this I am quite impressed I would say that he did pretty well with this first outfit I'm excited for the next one okay so outfit number two these are for our date night i think these are dress pants which is interesting considering this is not the work outfit um these are wide leg pants i actually do have wide leg pants that i wear to work these are really nice <laughs> i'm impressed it's size 12 which usually fits me but h&m can sometimes be like a bit here and there with their sizing so i hope it fits so these are the pants and then the top we have what kind of restaurant are we going to where I'm wearing all black oh <laughs> okay 
it's an actual like blouse a long sleeve blouse I, I don't know where we're going it's giving me like Italian vibes I don't know why but at the same time would it look like I'm a server <laughs> at this restaurant interesting I wonder if he mixed things up I wonder if this was supposed to be I'm gonna try it on because he told me this is the date night outfit um, let's see let's see what it looks like the second outfit clearly does not fit me um, on multiple occasions so the pants obviously are not closing like whatsoever and this top this is often a problem that I have with button-up tops you can see there's a hole forming right over here but I think I do get the date night vibe because I uh, the shirt is kind of deep and so I don't think I would be wearing it to work and uh, like these pants are trendy I could totally wear them with heels maybe that's what he was envisioning I don't know if he's like there yet <laughs> to envision me wearing shoes or like you know having accessories with this outfit but I totally would wear this if it fit number one um, which is sad but I'm usually not a fan of button-up shirts like this kind of style because this always happens to me and I'm not happy about it obviously um, but I would say that I'm, I'm impressed with this outfit. I could accessorize it in a certain way for going to like a posh restaurant. I could wear heels, I could wear some nice like earrings, maybe some pearls. Um, and if I were to like dress it up a little bit, I, I think it would be really nice. And then these two pieces, of course, separately, I would be able to wear these pants with anything else. And the shirt, of course, is very basic, so I could wear a whole different number of ways but i'm sad that it does not fit so i can't really show you exactly what it would look like but i see his vision i think it's there let me know do you think you would wear this type of outfit to like a fancy restaurant or do i look like a server or let me know let me know what you think imagining that it actually fit me okay on to the last outfit so far i've been kind of impressed i don't know if my expectations were so low that he's like meeting all of them but I don't know, I would say for a boy who has no interest in fashion, especially women's fashion, doesn't even do any shopping, like this is pretty good. And maybe it is because, you know, I've been quite vocal about fashion and just like my interest in it and what I like and what I don't like, like on my Instagram. And I know he follows me there and he participates in my Fashion Friday poll. So every Friday I like share a new trend that I've been seeing a lot of that I'm interested in or just like I want to know people's opinions about. And these trends, um, I share inspiration photos from people with different body shapes, different skin tones, different abilities. And at the end of it, I ask people to say if they're on board with this trend or if they hate it. And so I know he's been participating in all of those Fashion Fridays. So I wonder if some of that fashion sense has kind of seeped into what he found for me today. But let's move on to the last outfit. This is the outfit for home. Again, an all black outfit. Let's see what's inside. Okay, I'm impressed again. Um, this is a turtleneck vest, which definitely I included on my Fashion Friday, like just vests in general, sweater vests. And so this is the turtleneck. And then with it, he paired just some basic black leggings, um, which totally could be an outfit. I don't know if I would wear this turtleneck without a shirt underneath. Or right, let's try it on and see what he imagined and then we can make our tweaks. Out of all the outfits, this is the one that I'm kind of iffy about. I don't know what the model was kind of wearing or how they styled this top um interesting this is what he expects me to wear at home like obviously he knows what i wear at home but it's not anything as trendy as this the thing that i'm saying the reason i'm saying that is because as you can see the side holes are really big in this turtleneck sweater and so i think i would definitely have to wear something underneath and then if i'm doing some layering like i don't think i would really be wearing this at home it is cute like in general I think it looks really cute on me, I have to say, like it, it's flattering. Um, it is a little itchy, unfortunately, which is something I found recently happens a lot with sweaters I order on H&M. So I'm not really happy with that, but if I was layering something underneath, um, which I probably would have to, I don't think it would bother me as much. I could definitely wear this out in a bow. I don't know if I'd be wearing something this fancy, like just chilling at home, but I like it. 
And these leggings, I am very impressed with them. They're just like very, like they're basic cotton leggings or whatever. And I'm used to wearing like Lululemon leggings and you know, I paid lots of money for those. And these are just like the regular H&M leggings. Um, which is interesting. So I don't know. Let me know what you think about this outfit. Would you wear it? Where would you wear it? How would you style it? I don't know what exactly I would be doing with this outfit, but I don't think I would be wearing it at home. So those are all three of the outfits that my boyfriend picked for me and surprised me with. Um, and I would like to say that I was very surprised at the level of style sense that came from these outfits. I think I really had low expectations for him in general, um, which I don't think he would be offended about because it's very true. If you watch my Gymshark video where I did my Black Friday Gymshark haul, I told a story about his you know, bright sweatpants at the gym. Um, so if you wanna hear that, go and watch that video. But because of things like that, and like I remember, oh my God, once, we went to see a Travis Scott concert like maybe like two, three years ago. Of course it was more than two, three years ago because COVID, but like, yeah, we went to see a Travis Scott concert and I like was kind of dressed up, right? Because that's what you do when you go to see a concert. This man pulls up to my driveway and he's wearing sweatpants. He's wearing sweatpants to a concert. And I was just so angry. I was like, you couldn't even wear jeans. So that's the kind of person that he is. And so I thought, that that would kind of translate to the outfits that he would pick for me but i am very pleasantly surprised i am super impressed with the items that he picked he asked me if you could mix and match these pieces with each other like what would you wear it with and i think even the ones that he chose together like they work um i'm just surprised that he knew like an oversized shirt should be worn with like a slimming pant or wide leg pants should be worn with like a slimming shirt like i'm just very surprised that he knew that so it wasn't like baggy on baggy or like skin tight on skin tight which is like that, that's how I style myself is like I have one baggy item and then one tight item so I was very surprised that every single outfit had that element to it there are some pieces that I will be returning as you can imagine the shirt that didn't fit me from the date night and the pants that didn't fit me from the date night I'm gonna be returning those I think I'm gonna keep this sweater vest um, even though it is a little itchy just because like I said I would have to wear something underneath because of these gaping holes on the side I could totally wear these to work with like some skinny dress pants or like those dress pants that are basically like pull on leggings um and i think if i just wore like a black shirt underneath or even like a like a, a white shirt underneath like it would totally work and then i'm gonna be keeping that white shirt from the work outfit and the definitely the flare leggings from the work outfit i'm so impressed with those flare leggings and they fit like nicely like i said i just have some insecurities that i need to be working on but they fit really nice and a fun story, my friend is having a birthday party coming up soon and it's a 70s theme, like 70s disco. I didn't have any flare pants to begin with, so I was going to wear these printed pants that my mom owns. But now I have these flare leggings and I have to rethink my entire vision for my outfit for this party. But overall, let me know what you think. Do you think he did good? Would you wear these items? Would you say he passed the challenge or did he fail according to your standards? Let's ignore the part about the fact that some of the clothes didn't fit me. Like that's completely not his fault. But would you let him style me again? Is that something that you're interested in? Maybe if he could go through my closet and pick out certain items for me to wear, depending on the occasion, is that something that you're interested in? If you think he did a good job, let me know in the comments below so that I can tell him to read them um, so that maybe he would feel, you know, good about himself and his fashion choice. If you enjoyed this video, give it a huge thumbs up. If you want to see more content from me, definitely subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.